Hey all, thank you for joining me for another episode of Sexpertise. Today's question is, so I'm going to New York for a work thing next month. I just started dating this new guy and I invited him to come with me. Does that mean I should buy his ticket and pay for where we're staying? Hmm, I didn't think... Yes, you should pay. You're dating, you asked him to come with you, and... It's Valentine's Day next month, so you can try to pass it off as a gift, maybe. Or, I mean, New York is really expensive, but I think if you're economical about the trip, it shouldn't be an issue, especially since you were going there anyway. You can have more fun there with your new boyfriend, and it'll be a fun chance to travel together and spend some time together, especially in New York City, where anything is possible. Just try to make the trip, if it money is an issue, just... Well, you're going to have to go there anyway. You could maybe just get a bus. Maybe do mega bus. It is far enough in advance that you could get a cheap ticket. And Boston to New York is probably like four hours. You can take the train. If you book Amtrak at least two weeks in advance, it's only like $40 or so. I do think it would be best. Because if a guy invited me to go to a work trip with him, and then I was like... Sure! He's like, okay, here's how much the ticket is and whatever. It's like, okay, like, do I have to pay for this myself? Like, you inviting me. But on the other hand, I think it all depends on the couple. Every couple's different. I mean, some couples do like to split everything, and other couples, one person pays, or maybe you treat him to a trip, and then he can treat you to a trip later. It is, I guess, tricky, because it is a new relationship, so it's all, like, new. You're not really sure what or how to divide things. But I do think you can go to New York for cheap. It's not like something grandiose, like going to like having to fly across country. Cause I think if you had like planes involved, then maybe both parties should pay for their own trip. But since you're going there anyway, I think you just pay for somewhere to stay. Like they could just stay with you anyway. If you get a hotel room or if you were going to get a, an Airbnb, if you do want to save money, definitely get an Airbnb over a hotel. Though if you do want to have a romantic couple vacation, it is a bit awkward having sex in someone else's place, especially if you don't have, like, full privacy. I mean, I would only get Airbnb if you have a private room, but it's still awkward having sex in someone else's place, if, especially if they're home. So maybe you could splurge for a hotel. I mean, New York, the best... Well, like, the best benefit of New York is that it, since it is a large city, like, it is possible to get cheaper hotels since there's more competition, so there's more deals, since, like, smaller cities don't really have that, because it's impossible to get, like, a cheap hotel in Boston, but, yeah, I think it's definitely possible. I think it would be nice to, like, pay for him, especially since it's a nice gesture in the beginning of your relationship, and that since it's someplace you were going anyway, it wouldn't be something that maybe you wouldn't, like even regret, like, down the line, because you were going anyway, so it'd be nice to have a travel companion, someone there with you, and someone to have fun and enjoy the city with. And that way, you aren't just there doing nothing in New York alone, because New York City, even though it's, like, the city of endless possibilities, it's not really a fun place to be when you're by yourself. Like, you definitely want someone to do things with, and go out and explore with, and have more fun doing it with. So I definitely think it would be nice for you to pay for your boyfriend's trip, because it will just be more fun especially since even if you were to break up eventually like I don't think you'd regret like oh no I paid for his trip to New York and then he like dumped me because you were already going there yourself so you just made it so that you had someone to have fun with while there as opposed to like you actually spent money to go out of your way to like book a trip for both of you to go somewhere like exotic or far away and then you break up later like it's not like that huge grandiose of a thing like it's shipped in New York you basically just take the bus take the train get an Airbnb like that saves tons of money and you can still have a fun vacation and do things with your boyfriend so yeah I think you should pay <laughs> hope that helped answer your question and join me again for more sex routines later